Welcome to your future Magic School Bus. Let's take a tour. So the whole bus has been rust proofed with a white automobile spray paint uh, using automotive sprayers. Wheel wells have all been treated, new wheels, $10,000 of uh, six wheel set. We have our lockable storage with treated lumber, so it's waterproof up to several years on the single coat it's on right now. Backup power, just in case the main power has an issue, there's another option. And of course we have our propane heater that I've never had to use, but it's there if you need it. So if it gets too cold, switch on the propane. But speaking of propane, an inspected, safe, ready to go, gigantic propane tank. I think they told me it was about 50 gallons. And then walking around here, you've got your diesel fuel, lockable container so no one's stealing your gas. And then in the back bed, which we'll see in a bit, there's a 180 view. If you open up all the curtains, so you can back up here over a mountaintop, see anything you'd like. Now the back side's locked right now just for storage reasons. We have a storage compartment in the bottom. We have a step up here also with your ability to tow several thousand pounds, including your car, your motorcycle, your toy trailer. All of the turn signals and brake lights have been replaced with LED alternatives, so they're super bright and brand spanking new. Uh, going around here. The shower has its own separate gray water, and this is our 50 gallon black water. So you have 50 gallons that'll last you a month going off grid. Moving on over here, we have the gray water tank for the sink. There's two gray water tanks, each one's about 30 gallons. And then we have our fresh water 40 gallon tank. This right here is for when you're going off grid or boondocking. And then of course you have your city water supply which you can just plug on in and then it'll give you power infinitely. Inside there's also, right here's the exhaust, a, a tankless hot water heater. So you don't have to worry about anything at all in terms of running out of hot water. As long as you got city water, you got hot water all day. Of course we got our 50 amp power supply, our dual battery starters with an emergency shutoff so you don't have to worry about the batteries getting drained when they're parked for long periods of time. Right now the air conditioning's running, so you see a little water that drips off the roof right here. And of course we have our fuse panel here with all the stuff here. All the fuses have been replaced and inspected. And you got your fuse map, all that good stuff. Insulated all of the walls, floors, and roof with soundproofing as well. Inside the hood, we got ourselves a Mercedes block engine, good for 500,000 miles minimum. All of the rubber gaskets, tubes, hoses have been replaced with new, solid, non-cracked rubber. Also, the mirrors have been replaced. The front turn signals have been replaced. Same as the back, LEDs. You have duals just in case you run out of uh, something happens, you clip it, you got a backup turn signal. Although the whole thing, except the hood, is made out of metal. It's unlikely anything's gonna hurt you, but we do have a brand new fiberglass hood that has a chain link suspension, so it doesn't open up too quickly. Let's go inside. You have your open here, and of course you have your lock, which you can easily lock with a turn and a key. Go inside. We have our grass entryway, driver's seat. Custom 3D etched uh, laser cut wood uh, to cover up the light panel so you can turn all of the uh, factory lights off and on, although you'll probably find yourself using the custom LEDs more often. All of the curtains, including the ones in the side, the fronts, every single window is insulated with flannel as an in-between fabric. And in between, meaning there's a black piece of fabric, a red piece of fabric, and then there's the flannel as insulation the whole way around. Coming on in here, you have your monster AC slash heating unit. There's heating coils in here to blow heat down on you. Uh, you also have your hooks for a pull down green screen that comes with it, but we take it out when we travel. Uh, inside here we have our power bank system with your ready to go Denon amp. Uh, you also have a solar ready power inverter, six lithium phosphate batteries, 
course we got all the painting supplies we just touched up all the paint and then you have an emergency DC and battery kill switch just in case something goes wrong nothing ever has that with the power it's built to last an accident coming on in here we got our garage underneath the couch a lot of people do pull out beds but I needed storage space not that then you have your 50 amp power, your 30 amp alternative in case your camping site doesn't have it. Heated water hose, just in case you're in freezing temps. Scrap materials from all the build, including the LEDs, the fabric for the, co the curtains, uh, light switches, extra parts, um, everything you could possibly need. If it breaks, it's in here. And all you do is just throw this bad boy back on. It's a futon, so you can use it as a bed. I use it as a couch. Moving on back here. We've got our butcher block pine counters with pull out table. And then of course the office. So you can put your computer chair here. I did a standing desk so it's stand and work. Your call. The power inverter has a temperature control you can see on the front of this cabinet here. Temperature controlled fans so they automatically kick on and increase in speed as needed. Uh, and then of course we have our wireless BMS battery management system. So it'll tell you exactly what's going on. Speakers, you have your camera mounts. So I have a dual camera setup, one for your face, one to look down if you're working on your desk. Microphone mount with power drill for it, as well as power drill for whatever computer or workhorse you're bringing in. All of the windows except for the windshield are tinted, so you really can't see in. When you put these down, these are blackout. There is no light coming in, you can't see anything. Coming on here, we got our fans. Maybe it's too cool or you don't need the AC or you're boom docking. Can't run AC without a generator then. Just turn on our fans here. They go in, they go out, and they have automatic water detectors. So if it starts raining, it'll turn itself off and shut it. You can leave it going while you're on a hike. Inside here we have our water, got our power system, a pressure uh, tank to keep it from making noise. And it'll maintain pressure so it doesn't have ghost pumps in the night. And of course the tankless water heater. The valves are all underneath this false shelf. Bottle opener here. Uh, you got your toothbrush slash keys holder, extra storage. Lighters, of course. Uh, we put a lot of onions, oranges, apples, that kind of stuff. Spice rack. Pull out trash and recycling. As well as a built in water filter with extra filters. All the cleaning stuff goes down there. And then, of course, you've got filtered water, free stage filter, regular water, dish soap, hand soap. So you can wash your dishes or you can get the foaming soap on your hands. Then moving on back, all of the drawers pull out all the way. And then they latch, of course, for when you're driving around. Storage underneath, functional stove, it's vintage. So we got the propane hooked up to here. Same one as outside. The outside propane tank does have a shutoff valve. Standard RV style fridge with little freezer on top. Moving on back further got our bunk bed situation. All of the lights are custom LEDs. So at the touch of a button, if I whip open my phone, go to the Casa app, I can turn off the lights. I can turn them on. I can go to the specific bunk, like the top one here, and I can make it black light or blue light. Probably hard to see, but this each zone has its own vibe. So in this one, which I usually leave as a black light, there are acrylic art pieces that are handmade by my sister to give you a more spacey feel. Or if you want to go down below, there's black light reactive chalk and all of this, the ceiling and the wall are covered in chalk paint. So you can draw away tons of these phone holders as well. Little hidden art. You can also slide this shut for privacy. The lever on open. And then of course we have our storage area. Food storage up top, these are all mounted. They don't move, put your canned goods, whatever you might have here. Then we have what we call the cubby holes where you can put your pots and pans or bigger items or food. And then we have our gigantic storage that also pulls all the way out. And every one of these locks in. Then we have our water, of course. Simple light to help you see, just in case you're doing something in the dark, but you want to turn on big lights. 
Coming on back to the bathroom, 35 feet from front to back. We've got our completely tiled, no plastic, as minimal plastic as possible. Your towel rack, surge protectors, uh, full height toilet, same as at home. All of this is stone or glass, uh, hot water. These are mounts for clip-on soap, conditioner, and shampoo dispensers. They take off when I'm driving because like, they could fall off. That makes for easy dispensing. And then in the very, very back, we've got our huge cabinet for any kind of storage for clothes, that kind of stuff. And then using hydraulic lifts underneath the mattress here, along with a locking piece of wood, we can put all kinds of storage here. It goes all the way back to a wall. Behind that wall is hidden storage that can only be accessible open the back door in the side compartment. Big enough to put, you know, you could put, uh, Back here, all kinds of stuff. I've got camping backpacks, tall hiking ones. This is a $3,000 purple mattress, super thick pillow top, Neopelli, high thread count sheets, nice pillows. And if you come back here and take a three or a 180, you can see just a little bit of the art we have chilling out. I see you have your masculine with your phone holder, another fan controller with a fan directly above the bed. And then of course we have our art on the back wall. All these lights are controllable. Up top cabinet, hidden compartment cabinet for hiding laptops while driving. And our last piece of art, of course, these are all in Velcro, you can take them off pretty easy. And a hanger for your clothes and an additional air conditioner in the back. Feel free to reach out, this is your new home.